police killer and carjacker Daniel Kitum Chiriot, aka Frank, managed to fool everyone to believe that he was a CID officer for quite a considerable period of time. He was the man Miley Saba looked up to for business inspiration. Even Kenya's top security officers, Police Commissioner Mohammed Hussein Ali and CAD Director Joseph Kamau were hoodwinked into believing the fugitive was once one of them. But the Standard 7 dropout from this school in Besiabor in Tarbo, Uwasungishu never set foot in Kenya police training camp in Kiganjo. Cherry Yacht only served as a police reservist for a few months in Eldred from 2001 and was fired when he was suspected of hiring his gun to a criminal gang involved in carjackings. Cherry Yacht was forced back into crime after a short-lived attempt at going legit as a businessman in Kitale. I was in Kitale for some time, like a year. I was in Kitale for some time, like a year. Daniel Kiptum Cheriot was one of the most sought after criminals in Kenya for the cold blooded executions of policemen who had attempted to arrest him. But the end of the road for Frankie was nigh. On the 27th January 2005, detectives tracked one of Cheriot's right hand men. John Moneki Karani to this suburb in Woodley Estate off Ngong Road in Nairobi. Wanted for the murders of three policemen and businessman Juninal Fulkant Shah, the director of Broadway Bakery in industrial area. Shah had been killed by Cherry Yacht and his companions on the spot and four other employees critically injured with bullet wounds. Karani and others had posed as customers in his office and then began shooting indiscriminately. Moneki was shot dead at 3 a.m. on the 27th of January 2005 during a flying squad raid on his house. The night silence was suddenly disrupted by heavy gunfire as the officers fired a volley of bullets through the wooden door. Police impounded three AK-47 rifles, three pistols, four magazines, three bulletproof vests and two sets of number plates from his house. What we have here is a group that was responsible for quite a number of violent crimes across the country. And these are people that we are sure were responsible for the shooting of the police officer in Ruiru. We can tie them down to other crimes that involve the shooting of an Indian in Thicker, the industry in thicker. Police found a stolen Toyota in his compound and the registration number on the insurance sticker was similar to a number plate that would later be found cut up in Cheriot's house. Moneki is said to have rented this house for two months and had refused to hand over his identity card to the landlady who said he was seen in different cars regularly and said he was a taxi driver. It really did not have to get to this. The next police target was Daniel Kiptum Cheriot. After a massive hunt for the fugitive that stretched to Uganda and Tanzania, his demise would finally come via a trodden path in such situations that of betrayal. His own kind became police informers in exchange for immunity from prosecution as reports about his whereabouts filtered through police channels. For three months, the informers gave detailed accounts of his activities and hideouts and finally, his most trusted friends pinpointed this hideout. A squad of 20 police officers wasted no time in surrounding it. Armed with AK-47 rifles, submachine guns and tear gas canisters to smoke him out, they took their positions while Jerry Yacht was asleep. What ensued was a few hours of drama. Jerry Yacht's last phone call would go to his wife. Tanasema alimpigia simu usiku, akamwambia chunga watoto. Kama kuna mali yangu yenye umejua chione kama maisha yangu yuko mzuri. Na akasema sijui simu alikuwa anapiga anatupa. Next week on Kenya's Most Wanted. He failed to obey the commands to drop the the Uzi. Same agenda, please. Same agenda, please.